Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Last time I showed you how to make euros, we made more of an authentic recipe using marinated pork and we cooked it in a rotisserie. I highly recommend trying this recipe first because the meat's really tender, juicy, and flavorful. And like I already mentioned, authentic. So definitely check this out. Now here I've got a beef chuck steak and a couple chops cut from the shoulder of a lamb. And all we have to do is remove the shoulder bones from the chops and prep these for the grinder. But don't you dare throw out these bones. Because if you think beef marrow is great, you need to try the marrow from lamb bones. It's that much better. And in case you don't know, I showed you how to do that last video recipe, so be sure to check that out. Now all we have to do is slice these into strips that can easily fit into the meat grinder. Now you can buy pre-ground beef and lamb if you want and make this recipe. It'll still be good, but for some reason, doing it yourself adds that much more flavor versus an aging package of meat. And cutting it into strips like this here are perfect for the meat grinder. And using a large die, I'll drop those pieces right in and start grinding the beef. And as soon as that's done, I'll start grinding the lamb right over the top. Now to season this ground meat, we're going to need a real good marinade. And in the last Euro recipe I filmed, I showed you how to do that as well. Grated red onion with the juice. Fresh chopped garlic. Olive oil, white wine vinegar, and I like to grind dried oregano and rosemary. A little bit of salt and pepper, of course. And for a little bit of heat, I like to add some smoked paprika. And once all this is whisked together, you can go ahead and just add that right over the top of the ground meat. Now all you gotta do is drop down a paddle and get to mixing. Now a lot of folks will complain and tell me, I can't afford all this fancy equipment, but you gotta just man up and do it. Yes, these gadgets can be pricey. But you can always catch a sale or buy it secondhand like Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen does. My wife spent 90 bucks on this $250 machine because she bought it secondhand and it works great. Now all we gotta do is add our beef and lamb mix to a hot skillet on the stove. I just don't believe in baking it and slicing it up like meatloaf. This really is the best way to go. And I'm sure you don't need any lessons on how to cook ground meat in a skillet. I just cook mine over medium heat for about 8 to 10 minutes and I just be sure to cook it all the way through. Now you may have noticed that we didn't have any actual marination time. And once you go ahead and give it a first taste, you'll see why. The meat is juicy, tender, full of flavor. The only thing you might need to add is a pinch of salt. And once you get that all mixed in real good, you want to just go ahead and remove it from the heat. Let it sit for about 10 minutes and it'll soak in all that juice and flavor. Then come back and mix it all together one last time before you serve. Now all you're gonna need is some pita bread or Greek flatbread and some tzatziki sauce and if you need a recipe for this I'll leave you a link for this as well but you just spread this down the center of your pita add your beef and lamb mix toppings can be as simple as baby spinach or romaine lettuce tomatoes 
Got to make sure it's perfect. And of course, some red onion. And these tend to be pretty messy, so it's a good idea to fold this over in half and roll this with some uh, parchment paper. Just like that. And there you have it. Greek Euro, right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.